up, man? It's your boy Carcino. Had a long night. Long night. But I saw the Adrian Broner interview, and what Adrian was a little, you know, hyperactive at first. He's trying to show everybody he's okay and nothing's bothering him. And he's kind of with a little too, too much with the energy. But it was a great, candid interview, and I think he answered all the questions. A lot of people had even now. It's just so many people wanted to see him lose. You know, it's just that when he lost, it was just a lot of hit and hate that they even had for Floyd Mayweather. They just didn't push that on over to Adrian Broner too. So that's just the nature of people, because people love being negative. That's the key to social media. You know, you can just let out all your frustrations of your life <laughs> on innocent people who ain't done nothing to you in the first place. But enough of that. I'm going to let y'all listen to the interview. All right, that's coming up March 8th on Showtime Pay-Per-View. Sometime after that, you can expect to see this man return to the ring, the former welterweight titleist and still WBC lightweight champion of the world, Adrian Broner. Adrian, good to see you again. How are you after, yes, after going through that? A, B, always balling. A lot of Burberry. You know, I'm fine. Yeah. What did you think of it? You go through the fight with Maidana, first pro loss. What's in your head? What are you thinking? Um, that's not the first time I took defeat. You know, when um, it, it might not be the last, but but God got something big in store for me, and um, it's just a minor setback for a major comeback. I'm fine. First round, Maidana comes right out after you. What were you thinking? I mean, he came out throwing bombs. It's boxing. He did what he's supposed to do. This is boxing. I didn't put on the glove to go hug nobody or give kisses. I went to fight. Okay. I was in, and I was in a hell of a fight. First two rounds then, when you did get dropped in the second round, again, what were you thinking? How did you counter that? What was the reaction? Um, hit me with a good shot, but um, that, it comes with the territory of boxing. Sometimes you don't get hit with good shots. It's not about those shots though. It's about how you get up and fight, like I did, to the last. You came back and fought. You climbed up the deck twice. There's no question. You even at one point told your corner to relax. Oh, yeah. How were they dealing with it? How were you dealing with it, with that adversity? Um, you know, it, w it was the first time experience for all of us. It was our first time in that situation, and we handled it great. You know, um, at the end of the day, I still got the same team. And um, we're okay. We're just waiting on a date. We're ready to get back in there, and um, hopefully we fight Madonna. Have you looked at the, the tape, sis? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't, we don't watch no bad nights. We move forward. We, we keep the past in the past, and we move forward. But if things were working in the fight for him, don't you want to know what was going wrong for you? Listen, I know what went wrong for me. God had that plan already. It don't matter if I had Jesus in my corner. God had that plan. We can't stop his plan. Was it something technical? I mean, he's hitting you with a lot of hooks. Was it something that you could, that you could work out strategically, mechanically? What I need to tell everybody that isn't inside that square circle, you know, sometimes when you get hit with good shots, there's some shots you just don't see. And um, you're going to get hit with big shots, but at the end of the day, man, you know, um, we ready to go back to camp. We ready for the rematch. If we could have fought him on Sunday, we would have fought him on Sunday. But you know, and, um, he was the better man that night. Now, you want him right away. Now, you've exercised the rematch clause. Um, is that the best course of action, to go after that guy right away? Of course, of course, I'm a fighter. Um, if I go on, I know I can beat anybody. If I go on, then what they say? Oh, at least Maidana beat him. You know, um, you know, I'm the closest thing to Floyd Mayweather. So since I took my loss, everybody feel like Floyd Mayweather took a loss, cause I'm the closest thing to him. You know, and still to this day, I'm the closest thing to him. But um, we gonna be okay. My next fight, I hope I fight Madonna. But if I don't, it's okay. I've seen guys, though, before, whether it's Oscar, Mosley against Vernon Forrest, B-Hop against Jermaine Taylor, they want to get right in and avenge that loss, but they go in and it's the same fight, and they lose that fight. What's going to be different this time around? There's going to be a lot of things different, man. Um, what I can say is, I'm sorry for my fans. I'm, I'm going to say sorry to my fans for walking out of the ring. I was very emotional. You know, I'm... It's first, first, like I said, it was the first time in that situation before. So, um, I want to say sorry for walking out on my fans. And, um, you know, we'll be back stronger. 
Yeah, what have you thought? It's interesting that you say that because you've made kind of a performance of your interview. I'm still pretty. And that you left. You are. I'm still and pretty. Look, and no one says you got to be crushed after a loss like that. But what about your comportment in the ring? Where you did go down after the headbutt, you did hump on him one time in the ring. What about your comportment? I, I like putting on a show. Losing or not, I'm still going to put on a show. That's why people want to see me. No matter if you come to see me lose or you come to see me win, you go, you're going to get a hell of a show. I'm going to give you a hell of a show. And speaking of which, what did you think of the reaction then? Because you must be, you're active on Twitter, you hear from the fans. A lot of fans are excited to see you again, but what do you think of the reaction? Like I always loss? say, this is the best thing that ever happened to my career. Now I see who's with me and who, who isn't. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it was sometimes, you know, you got friends that be around you, but they want to see you lose too. And then, they don't call you every day like they used to. They don't be with you every day like they used to. So, you know, this made me see a lot of things. You know, and um, it's okay. We're, we're fine. So what did you learn uh, from that? Um, no matter what, you know, I always got family. No matter what, I always got family, and I will always love my family, and they will always love me. No matter how long I box, or if I, if I box today, or I box tomorrow, no, or if I was financially stable, or as I am um, today, or if I wasn't, my family will always love me. All right? You excited to get back in? Of course. All right. I can't wait. A.B., always balling. Right now, a lot of bird bearing. <laughs> Athletic bastard. Yeah, yeah I, I can't wait to see you back in there. You are. You're a you're great theater. And you came out, you showed, you went through a lot of adversity in that fight. Hope you learned from it and hope you see an even better Adrian Broner next time around. You will always see that. All right. You know, and um, to all my fans, I want you to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Adrian Broner. And, you know, support me and I'll fight for y'all. All right. Adrian, best of luck in the future to you. Thank you. All right. Adrian Broner right there.